largest manufacturer of beer in the world, says its investments in South Africa was a good decision, despite the challenges it has faced in the last few years. In an exclusive sit-down with the global CEO, Michel Dukeris of AB InBev, our business reporter, Kopano Kumbi, spoke to him about being a responsible corporate citizen as a company and the growth opportunities that exist in Africa. During the lockdown and when alcohol was restricted in various parts of the world, in South Africa at least, we noticed that there was a very clear social benefit when people were consuming less alcohol. And I wonder, how do you balance your need to be a good corporate citizen with being a good business that is profitable and speaks to your shareholders as well? Yeah, maybe just to, to understand your question, I, I don't think that in several countries uh, beer or alcohol was restricted. Mm. I think that the, the only place where we saw like a restriction really happening was in South Africa and maybe one more country in, in Africa. Uh, yesterday we had like a conversation with Mr. President here in, in South Africa and he asked me this. And in reality, we didn't see any big restriction in any other country. And then uh, I also, I'm not quite sure if I understand what was the benefit that you were talking about. Maybe you can clarify a little bit the question. But for us, there is a very simple uh, rule and it's very clear for us inside the company that doing the right thing and being a profitable growing company are not two separate things. So we love our brands, we love our consumers, and we rather have them drinking in a moderate way, having appropriated usage of our products and being healthy and living a productive life than having people binging and behaving badly. So there is a problem of there with harmful usage of alcohol. We are part of this because we are in the industry. Beer is not as other alcoholic beverages, but beer can be also part of the solution. And we like to believe that we can help and support and through the right social norms and marketing and advertising in the right way, we can make and be a force for good. Okay. I mean, it in that way. I mean, we saw through our hospitals, you know, emergency rooms were not as busy usually. There was a decrease in violent crimes that are ordinarily associated with alcohol abuse in the country. So that's, why, that's uh, how I meant it. So uh, I was asking mm -hmm. the same question yesterday. And I think that sometimes there is cause and consequence, right? Mm -hmm. And it's very important to understand what exactly is the cause that we are eliminating. Because if we put people in lockdown, Nobody gets out of home. There is no cars on the streets. Uh, there is no events anywhere. I think that's only normal to believe that the hospitals will not be as full as they were before. I think that the idea of associating this directly with the non-alcohol consumption or no beer consumption, which is different, can be misleading. And I'm not doubting the statistic. I'm just saying that I find only natural because in all countries around the world, when people went in lockdown and nobody got out of home, the hospitals were pretty empty. So there was no surgeries in the heart, right? So there was no people taking blood or donating blood. That's why in the U.S. we did a huge campaign with American Red Cross to incentivize people to go out and do blood donation because they were so scared about the pandemic and the virus that the donors stop going out. And they don't go out to drink beer, they go out to donate blood, right? So I think that is, is important that we all know and we get the learnings from what happened so we can always do better next time. Okay, my last question to you when it comes to Africa at least and uh, the acquisition approach or the, the, the growth approach uh, for you guys on the continent. Are you anticipating that you're going to achieve the growth that you want through acquisitions or are you hoping for more organic growth throughout the continent for your beer brands? Yeah, our number one priority is organic growth. Mm -hmm. We have an incredible footprint, mm -hmm. incredible brands. We've been investing to grow our capacity and therefore organic growth is our number one priority. Mm -hmm. Because your debt book was 
there was already a concern that after this last acquisition of SAP, SAP Miller. That, well, that was a great uh, acquisition for us. We learned a lot from SAB. We have incredible talent here in Africa today. And we only have this opportunity to go in Africa because of the deal that was done with SAB and ABI. Okay. So we are very, very happy with what we have today and very confident that growth will continue.